file. You fled the Alchemy Commission yet again. How many times have I told you our rules state that... Sorry! I'm sorry! I won't do it again! Wait! I remember that voice. That's the old Chief Alchemist. So she's... Reborn? Reborn? <laughs> More excuses. Who brought you out this time? Is that... Master Don Fong? Why do you remain silent? Your Highness, you're still as cold and lonely as you ever were. Like the eternal ice on the Fong Hu. Bailu, return to the Forbidden Residence. I must speak with Master Don Fong. Oh, okay. Wait, no! You were just a mirage echo! Uh, I got tricked again! Master Don Fong, I finally understand your plan. That little girl is the key to the transmutation arcanum. This is a breakthrough for my research. The Vidyatara performs self-reincarnation, but we are unable to reproduce. Natural and artificial disasters inevitably reduce our population. If this continues, one day our noble draconic bloodline will perish, and the fated decree of the permanence will be violated. For this very reason, I have spent my entire life researching ways to free the Vidyatara from the cycle of reincarnation. I have been without success for a long, long time. Thinking that this reincarnation had been not but a waste. Now, you have enlightened me. Don Fung. What did he do? Master Don Fung, your changes to the transmutation arcana created a draconic abomination that wreaked great destruction. But also created a new life! This is the hope that will one day allow the Vidyatara to reproduce. My understanding of reproduction was limited by ordinary notions. How constrained I was! Why should Vidyatara reproduction remain trapped within the confines of our race? To unearth the potential might of Long's blood, and incorporate other races into the flesh of the dragon? Isn't that the real meaning behind the transmutation arcanum? The Perceptors are too narrow-minded to see your talent. They want to install another High Elder. <laughs> Foolish! What does she mean by that? Transmutation Arcanum seems to contain a secret that allows the Vidyatara to escape the cycle of reincarnation and return to normal reproduction. But the mechanism eludes me. Let's go.
tell me you've already heard about Sanctus Medicus? Have you come here to condemn me? Seems like none of the Mirage Echoes realize that you've already been reborn. They're mere fragments stripped from the lives of the Vidyatara. I have never believed in the Hive. You are unworthy of the condemnation you Especially you, Miss Violet. You simply do not have the power of the High Elder. The power to summon the forces of nature. Why should I believe you are superior in any way to Master Dom Fun? The priests, our people, they think the High Elder is the Vidyatara's only thing. <laughs> Elegant, illogical. Have you seen what merciful medicus can do? The Vidyatara already have the mortal thoughts. What they should pray for is the ability to reproduce like the Sienjo needs. Merciful Medicus will help us to grow our population and bear the sense. They can do what the High Elder cannot. One day you will come to know that I was right. Never knew the Vidyatara had believers in the plagues off the among their ranks. This Mirage Echo, he must be a Cloud Knight who fought alongside Don Fung all those years ago. How many of us perished in that disaster and could not be reincarnated? And I, a leg was torn off by that abomination. Oh, the pain. The doctors at the Alchemy Commission said I have to reincarnate as soon as possible to avoid affecting my immortal life. But my poor comrades have no chance of returning to the ancient sea. You once told us that we should cherish every life cycle, and that you would use cloudy magic to heal our wounds. But in the end, all you did was betray us. I must listen to him very carefully. We cannot afford to miss any information. I will never forgive you. The High Elder's power belongs to the Vidyadara of the Lawful. You are unworthy. The Vidyadara must not sever the High Elder's succession tradition just because of you. Hand it over. Dunhu. We pay for bearing the power of the High Elder? Carrying the weight of all these expectations. All this hatred. Before any of this transpires, you have enough time to prepare.
losing track. <laughs>
were in there for such a long time. Luckily, I had Dan Hong and him to protect me all the way. If anyone's owed a thanks, it's them. I didn't expect those assassins to be so brazen and reckless. Storming a sacred place like Scale Gorge Waterscape and pursuing you? Rest assured, Miss Bailu. I'll report them to the Elders and round them all up. Fortunately, the three of you were blessed by the gods. If anything had happened to you, it would have been a dereliction of duty on my part. Assassins. None of us mentioned that the danger involved assassins. How did you know that? It's because we were already attacked at the fair, you know? I was just worried that those people would try and attack you again. You said those assassins only came from Mr. Dun Hung. The ones we met in the ruins were coming from me instead. Perhaps the real dereliction of duty was that not enough happened to you. So, did the Elder send you to take out the unworthy High Elder? <laughs> that was my idea alone. How could the Preceptors have come up with that? From my perspective, the Vidyatara requires only one High Elder. A second High Elder, one who is weak and useless, must be removed. Miss Bailu, our relationship as mistress and maid ends here. Farewell.
no time to lose. Lance at the ready. Receptors truly believe that nobody knew of their scheme. They should return to their senses. Attacking the Dragon Lady only destroys what little prestige they have remaining. <laughs> the whole thing was planned by me and me alone. Beware of false charges, General. Save your breath. We all know the truth once the Cloud Knights send you to the Ten Lords Commission's judges. 
too late, Jin Yuan. I go no further. I always felt useless in the eyes of the elders. A false dragon who failed to inherit the power of the High Elder. And today I realize they'll use any means of removing me. Not all of the Vidyagra harbor evil intentions. If you feel uneasy, Dragon, the Seat of Divine Foresight can arrange for you to stay elsewhere. Thank you, General. I'd like to talk more with Dantum first. Very well. I will await all of you at the fair. teacher is assigned to instruct the young Vidyadara in the art of Plowton, as well as various life skills. Dunho, did you have a teacher like that? If you're asking about Vidyadara tradition, I'm afraid that's something I never had any experience of. I've always been a wanderer. I... I can never return to my homeland. In my fragmented dreams, I meet enemies on the battlefield. But in my travels, I meet many people who I can describe with the word teacher. As far back as I can remember, I've had the preceptors and alchemy commission healers telling me what to do. Cure diseases, save lives. I don't know if that counts as teaching. You know something? Feels like you're the teacher I've been waiting for! Virtuous in the past life, master in the next life. Perhaps we were friends or disciples in our previous incarnations. <laughs> A friend or disciple of Don Feng? Maybe. Miss Bai Lu, at first, I was worried that your title of High Elder was in name only that an absence of true power would eventually put you in grave danger. <laughs> it seems I was overthinking things. You have no shortage of true power. You mean the power to repair the seal? The power you taught me? The Mirage Echoes of Scalebridge Waterscape mentioned that not only was Don Feng a brave warrior, he could heal others with cloud him magic. What you have is the power of the High Elder that belongs to you. The power of life that can reforge the Arbor Seal and the vitality of the Eternal Roots. <laughs> it is a world away from my power of destruction. Hmm. In that case, Dunfung probably had a gentle side to him too, right? <laughs> Perhaps. We should head back to the healer's market. I have other things to do today. Let's go! <sighs> now that the seal is repaired, my fares on the Xianzhou have drawn to an end. For the time being. Are you planning on staying on the law, Fu? The banishment decree has been revoked, and the preceptors have regained an awareness of the situation. This is your chance to return to your home. As a nameless, <laughs> the Express still needs me. Ah, that is a pity.
I think I should refrain from violating the healer's orders any further. Oh, the weariness is creeping up on me once again. <laughs> Time to lie down. Farewell, all of you. I think I should refrain from violating the healer's orders any further. Oh, the weariness is creeping up on me once again. <laughs> Time to lie down. Farewell, all of you.
Is the Alchemy Commission going to be under watch forever? Can you just give me some peace and quiet?
story in your own way. But the vision! Great! Right. 